Hey guys, it's me now. I just walked forward a bit. And there's a battle. There's a battle! So anyway, we gotta send out Shinx. Go Shinx, zap him! Oh wait, you don't, you can't zap him yet. Supersonic is an annoying move, it basically confuses your Pokemon, which allows them to hit, you know, I think, uh, yeah, allows them to hit yourself. Leech Life is a sucking move, it's bug type, so it's okay here. Yeah. It's really weak, it's almost as weak. It is Absorb, it's just bug type, it's a like grass type. This guy's kind of strong, no! Oh, thank goodness he missed again. Oh, I missed! Taking a while though, Shinx. You missed three times in a row, Zubat. Oh, my luck has changed, yeah! So anyway, Shakes is now level 11! That means Shakes is almost the same level as Turtwig! His Turtwig is level 14, I think. Almost 14. Oh, so anyway, this is a big rock. This guy has met Machap, Machop on Route 207, which is just north of here, but we can't really actually go anywhere. Oh, you! Oh, he snuck his Pokemon in on the work. So anyway, this is Worker Mason. He is a rebel. He also has Machop. Uh, so anyway, yeah, you can get a Machop on the route above, there's a patch of grass that you can meet Pokemon on there. Unfortunately, you can't actually progress anywhere on that route, so I may as well just skip it entirely right until we actually get there anyway. So, if you want a Machop, you can get him uh, pretty soon. You know, pretty soon just go north uh, of all the city. But, you know, can't really go anywhere from there. Oh gosh, Focus energy, energy, I think, ensures that next attack will hit and increases his critical hit ratio, if not actually forces his next hit to become a critical hit rate, uh, ratio. So I used Rock Smash, my defense fell, which is not good because he's going to use like low kick or whatever. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill him. Oh, not Rock Smash again. What? What? No. Oh. Thankfully, we have backup. Unfortunately, we don't have healing, so Turtwix is just gonna have to do this alone. So here's Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf is a really good move. It's physical and and it has a high critical hit ratio, meaning that it has a higher chance of doubling its damage and ignoring status ailments when used, which is very good. And it's also a pretty strong move right now. Anyway, even for level 13, yes. Uh, no, wait, don't tell my boss. Okay, yeah, there was a potion that would have come in handy later. I actually have a few, so that was all my fault. Um, dude, Geo, dude. And no, the ne the evolution is Graveler, not Rock Bro or whatever. Rock through. Rock through. I don't know why it's called Geodude, if nothing else. Like, like his evolutions are Graveler and Gold, it doesn't really... Like, it's got the Geo part, but I don't know what the Dude part is. Why are you surrounded by Rock Smash Rocks? Anyway, this guy is the Gym Leader. Boy, anyway, he's using Rock Smash. Voila! You have not trapped me! So you'll be able to do this clue, of course you have to beat the gym leader. Oh wait, that's me! Uh, see ya. I don't really know what he's been doing, so anyway, there's some chops here. Oh wait, this guy also wants to battle. Ah, so anyway, hopefully this guy will show off the Pokemon that I wanted. Anyway, Geodude. Nothing special, just a dude. Do -do 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 -do. So anyway, I'm basically just going to use Turtwig for the entire gym, because, because that's basically what Turtwig 
that's that's one reason why I picked Tazwick, because he's just gonna ace all the gym. Which is bad because he's he gets thrashed on the way to the gym. You know, Starlies and Cricketots and stuff. Anyway, so he's level 14 now. I don't think any po I think uh Piplock or Chimchar, one of them evolves at this point. I'm not quite sure which. Uh and now it's gonna sound Onyx! This this is Onyx in sprite form. He's a big snake who barely fits in your closet. He's apparently Brock, the first gym leader of Kanto, which is the first generation's region. Yeah, it, it, Onyx is his favorite Pokemon. I think he evolved into Steelix once. So anyway, we defeated Colin. Mercy, I cry, Mercy. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there's an Iron Man over there. Let's go get it. Escape Rope, that's awesome. You're saying that like we're stuck. Uh, Zubat is poison flying, which is a really bad combination for Turtwig. Thankfully, thankfully, uh, unthankfully, he's also Turtwig is also ground type, so that's not good. Uh, that's not good when I learn like earthquake and stuff. Oh, so now it hits. At least it's on Turtwig. So Turtwig is gonna hit himself. I bet you. Didn't call it. Wow. Pretty good. Oh! Why are you using Supersonic again? And yes, uh, confusion cures itself. Like, uh, yeah. Wow, I'm having a good chance. I'm having a really good chance. Bum, bum, bum. So I tried to gain some experience. Unfortunately, we're stuck, so I'm going to use that escape rope. Uh, here's what an escape rope does. It sends you out of any place you are. Which is handy if you're like inside a cave, there's a... You have to do all these puzzles and stuff and there's a... There's a house in here, we can talk to a random man. You're taking a tour? That's excellent! It's always good to learn about stuff. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, um... Yeah, because there will be caves, you gotta go through them, do all these puzzles and stuff, fight all these Pokemon along the way, and then you find the, the, the Pokemon you've been looking for the whole time, uh, and then and then you're just like, oh, I just want to get out of this place. Escape rope, instant out. I, I can't snap my fingers, especially with my left hand, it really hurts. Uh, so anyway, yeah, um, now we've done all that, we can... Do what we've all been wanting to do. Put Turtwig up front! Yes! Actually, you know what? Let's also get Rock Smash out. So, Rock Smash is a HM. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna teach it to a Pokemon, like Bidoff! Maybe you teach it to Turtwig, but... The, the other thing with TMs is that also... Uh, sorry, hey chance is that if you want to delete it, you have to go to a specific person in order to delete it, which is really annoying, because you can't actually... You can skip both of these guys, I don't exactly know what's with the design, especially because this is the basicest gym ever. Like seriously, they get really annoying, especially the one in, um, the last gym in, uh, black and white. I'm like, jeez, what is with that? There's ten trainers, and you, and as cool of it as a gym it is, it's really linear. You just kind of follow the path it puts you. So anyway, this is the first, um, trainer inside the gym. This is, this is Jonathan. He has a Geodude. He has the dude. So anyway, this is a gym that's going to be some higher level Pokemon. For example, these guys, this guy's level 10. So yeah, he's higher level than anything we've seen before. I'm sorry if Razor Leaf is awful. By the way, I think those leaves are randomly generated, actually. Oh, you, you, you get a critical hit on the guy who I don't really need a critical hit for. No, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm leveling one one Pokemon at a time, but unfortunately I only have two that I really have, so that's the problem. Now I understand why you decided I'm... Um, actually, I just wanted to show off your Pokemon, but I'm sure. Anyway, this is the second guy! Only those who can win! Only those who want to win can challenge the gym. 
Yeah, I don't want to win, so I don't can't champ. Ah, uh, so anyway, this guy also has a Geo dude. Only thing is that it's two levels lower, which means we can tackle him on in a better way using more Razor Leaf. Pacha! It's super effective! I killed you, Geodoo! Now you are the... Uh, I was gonna incorporate the word nude in that. Anyway, he also has an Onyx! Uh, believe me, you'll get tired of these Pokemon, but not as much as Zubat. Zubat is just common as... Oh! Yeah, that's his ability, therefore he's gonna get a stronger attack. I didn't realize that just earlier. Which means he's gonna annihilate the Onyx! May as well be a critical hit as well. And the thing is that Onyx evolves into Steelix, and Steelix is Steel type, if you couldn't tell. Ah! Uh, so we killed Darius. We didn't actually kill get Darius, but yeah. Anyway, here is the gym layer. Like every gym leader, I will save before because you do not know how many times you will screw up in a gym leader battle. It's also got some nice music. Anyway, welcome, this is the Orb of Pokemon Gym. I'm Rock! That was a weird name, your parents must have. Yeah, anyway, I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. So anyway, this is the first gym leader battle of the game. This is Brock. He has three Pokemon, the first of which is Geodude, level 12. Uh, he knows Rock Throw and Stealth Rock. Now, both of these attacks are actually... Oh, I think a uh, Stealth Rock. It's an attack that if I switch out, then it deals damage. I think. Uh, but Rock Throw is actually a kind of powerful attack. And now, if you're using Chimchar, you can have the most trouble in this. If you're using Search Wig or Piplup, especially Piplup, because Piplup should have evolved maybe by now, maybe. Or Chimchar as well. Chimchar man, as well. But uh, yeah, Search Wig's level up. 16, unfortunately, Turtwig levels up, uh, evolves at level 18, so it's gonna take a while. Anyway, Onyx, also level 12, also knows Rock Throw and Stealth Rock, but he also knows Screech, also. Now, Screech is, a uh, pretty much Leer, oh, gosh. Overgrow, Razor Leaf! Yeah! Now, I'm supposed to be having trouble in this battle, but unfortunately... Well, I, I don't know, as a Let's Player, I think I should be tr having trouble, but I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm sorry, Turtwig is annihilating! Look at this, wow! And you get a ton of experience on gym battles just because of their high level. Uh, so anyway, this is a new Pokemon, this is Kranidos. Kranidos is... Uh, rock only. Uh, anyway, I think you can take it on the next Pokemon like you did earlier. Um, oh no, let's see! Oh wait, what? He's attacking... Okay. Oh, he has Mold Breaker, yeah. Uh, anyway, Kranidos, he has really good phys physical attack, and he's, and he's in the Erratic Experience group, which means he levels up really quickly, like, really quickly. Um, only downside, he's, he's exclusive to Pokemon Diamond, uh, and you get him in the Underground, which is something that we'll experience a bit later. And, wow, I did take him down, like, the guy. Uh, he also has weak special stats, but... Wow, I did take him down like the guy before. Good job, Turtwig, I'm proud of you. Anyway, he wants to look Curse. Curse is a weird move. Like, it's a weird move. Look at that type. What is with that? Uh, now, since it does differently for anything other than Ghost types, basically, Curse, it's a uh, attack... Well, it increases your attack and defense, the physical ones, but it decreases your... Um, I'm not gonna use it, because... But it decreases speed, uh, unless if you're a ghost type. If you're a ghost type, then it actually drains half of your health, and then it puts puts a curse on the opponent. So whenever you're in battle, they'll take damage. Uh, they'll take quite a bit, and they can't do a thing about it unless if you die, or they switch out, I think. No, you switch out. Anyway, so he gives you a gym badge since we beat him. Anyway, here's the coal badge. We got the coal badge from Rock. Success! 
that means we can now use Rock Smash! We can also, every gym layer will give you a TM. This one is Stealth Rock. Yep. It inflicts that. Oh, yeah. It inflicts damage to those who switch in. Uh, t the TM will teach its move to a Pokemon instantly, but the TM will break when you use it, so you can only use it once. And thus, we've beaten the gym. Ah, uh, relief. So yeah, I'll see you guys next part, where we'll continue on our adventure of epic proportion. Okay, see you guys next part. Yeah.